nun and missionary Mother Teresa, known in the Catholic Church as St. Teresa of Calcutta, devoted her life to caring for the sick and poor. Born in Macedonia to parents of Albanian descent and having taught in India for 17 years, Mother Teresa experienced her call within a call in 1946. Her order established a hospice, centers for the blind, aged and disabled, and a leper colony. In 1979, Mother Teresa received the Nobel Peace Prize for her humanitarian work. She died in September 1997 and was beatified in October 2003. In December 2015, Pope Francis recognized a second miracle attributed to Mother Teresa, clearing the way for her to be canonized on September 4, 2016. Mother Teresa was born on August 26, 1910, in Skopje, the current capital of the Republic of Macedonia. The following day, she was baptized as Agnes Gonksabo Jaxiu. Mother Teresa's parents, Nicola and Dranophile Bojaxiu, were of Albanian descent. Her father was an entrepreneur who worked as a construction contractor and a trader of medicines and other goods. The Bojaxius were a devoutly Catholic family, and Nicola was deeply involved in the local church as well as in city politics as a vocal proponent of Albanian independence. In 1919, when Mother Teresa, then Agnes, was only eight years old, her father suddenly fell ill and died. While the cause of his death remains unknown, many have speculated that political enemies poisoned him. In the aftermath of her father's death, Agnes became extraordinarily close to her mother, a pious and compassionate woman who instilled in her daughter a deep commitment to charity. Although by no means wealthy, Drana Bojaxiu extended an open invitation to the city's destitute to dine with her family. My child, never eat a single mouthful unless you are sharing it with others, she counseled her daughter. When Agnes asked who the people eating with them were, her mother uniformly responded, Some of them are relations, but all of them are people. Agnes attended a convent-run primary school and then a state-run secondary school. As a girl, she sang in the local Sacred Heart Choir and was often asked to sing solos. The congregation made an annual pilgrimage to the Church of the Black Madonna in Let Nice and it was on one such trip at the age of 12 that she first felt a calling to religious life. Six years later, in 1928, an 18-year-old Agnes Bojaxiu decided to become a nun and set off for Ireland to join the Sisters of Loretto in Dublin. It was there that she took the name Sister Mary Teresa after St. Teresa of Lisieux. A year later, Sister Mary Teresa traveled on to Darjeeling, India, for the novitiate period. In May 1931, she made her first profession of vows. Afterward, she was sent to Calcutta, where she was assigned to teach at St. Mary's High School for Girls, a school run by the Loretto Sisters and dedicated to teaching girls from the city's poorest Bengali families. Sister Teresa learned to speak both Bengali and Hindi fluently as she taught geography and history and dedicated herself to alleviating the girls' poverty through education. On May 24, 1937, she took her final profession of vows to a life of poverty, chastity, and obedience. As was the custom for Loretto nuns, she took on the title of mother upon making her final vows and thus became known as Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa continued to teach at St. Mary's, and in 1944 she became the school's principal. Through her kindness, generosity, and unfailing commitment to her students' education, she sought to lead them to a life of devotion to Christ. Give me the strength to be ever the light of their lives, so that I may lead them at last to you, she wrote in prayer. On September 10, 1946, Mother Teresa experienced a second calling, the call within a call that would forever transform her life. She was riding in a train from Calcutta to the Himalayan foothills for a retreat when she said Christ spoke to her and told her to abandon teaching to work in the slums of Calcutta aiding the city's poorest and sickest people. Since Mother Teresa had taken a vow of obedience, she could not leave her convent without official permission. After nearly a year and a half of lobbying, in January 1948 she finally received approval to pursue this new calling. That August, donning the blue and white sari that she would wear in public for the rest of her life, she left the Loretto convent and wandered out into the city. After six months of basic medical training, 
she voyaged for the first time into Calcutta's slums with no more specific a goal than to aid the unwanted, the unloved, the uncared for. He started an open-air school and set up a home for the dying poor in a dilapidated building and convinced the city government to donate to his cause. In 1971, Mother Teresa went to New York to open her U.S.-based first aid home, and in the summer of 1982 she sneaked to Beirut, Lebanon, where she crossed between Christian East Beirut and Muslim West Beirut to help children. Mother Teresa of both faiths returned to New York in 1985 and attended the 40th anniversary of the United Nations General Assembly. While there, she also opened Gift of Love, a love house to care for those infected with HIV-AIDS. In February 1965, Pope Paul VI bestowed the decree of praise upon the missionaries of charity, which prompted Mother Teresa to begin expanding internationally. By the time of her death in 1997, the missionaries of charity numbered more than 4,000, in addition to thousands more lay volunteers, with 610 foundations in 123 countries around the world. The decree of praise was just the beginning, as Mother Teresa received various honors for her tireless and effective charity. She was awarded the Jewel of India, the highest honor bestowed on Indian civilians, as well as the now defunct Soviet Union's gold medal of the Soviet Peace Committee. In 1979, Mother Teresa was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in recognition of her work in bringing help to suffering humanity. Despite this widespread praise, Mother Teresa's life and work have not gone without its controversies. In particular, she has drawn criticism for her vocal endorsement of some of the Catholic Church's more controversial doctrines, such as opposition to contraception and abortion. I feel the greatest destroyer of peace today is abortion, Mother Teresa said in her 1979 Nobel lecture. In 1995, she publicly advocated a no vote in the Irish referendum to end the country's constitutional ban on divorce and remarriage. The most scathing criticism of Mother Teresa can be found in Christopher Hitchens' book The Missionary Position, Mother Teresa in Theory and Practice, in which Hitchens argued that Mother Teresa glorified poverty for her own ends and provided a justification for the preservation of institutions and beliefs that sustained widespread poverty.